Welcome back to Chamber Exchange, a TV show brought to you by our sponsor, Bank Hometown and St. Vincent Hospital. And here in our second segment, very pleased to have with us Vera Mogalachirla, who is the founder and president of Cross Digital. Uh, and Vera, welcome to the show. Thank you, Tim, for having me. Yeah, so maybe you could talk a little bit about what the business that you have, Cross Digital, and, sure. and uh, how it works with other businesses. Sure. Um, Cross Digital is a platform where we build websites for uh, all businesses and that is connecting, engaging, also um, generating leads for them. The, you know, I used to work for large corporations and uh, COVID hit in 2020 in May, I started this business to strictly to help uh, business to mm -hmm. brand their online business. Right. And that's the re really reason why, because every business has a good product or good service, but um, making them, um, Shine online is my goal to start this Shine business. Shine online, yeah. maybe you should tag that. Sounds like it's a good, uh, good quote. Yeah. So you just mentioned something that's really, you know, interesting. I mean, COVID did have a devastating impact on on, on certain sectors of the economy and businesses, yeah. and and obviously uh, a major health challenge. Um, but one of the interesting things coming out of that is record numbers of businesses were created during and, and afterwards. And so you had a situation where you were working for a large company. Yeah. You saw an opportunity uh, with more and more businesses having to go online and not being able to do business face to face. Yeah. So a lot of businesses rushed and had an immediate need. Yes. And you you were able to help work with them to fill that. Yes. Yeah, so I wanted to use my expertise in the in web development and also marketing area. That's how I started uh, you know having a team of people, developers and designers to strictly uh, focus on the businesses to really building their online presence and then marketing their services or products. I've done that a uh, number of businesses and I, I, they liked what I was doing and we kept on um, building. And that's um, a really important distinction for a business to, un to, to, to understand. I think many would recognize, yeah, I need a website. Yeah. But a website doesn't give you much if it's not being marketed, updated, yeah. and then having it communicate with other platforms. Yeah. And so, you, you know, one of the things that you do is help with that, right? Yeah. Uh, the, the SEO, they call it yeah, search, search engine, engine optimization. So maybe yeah. you could tell us like that suite of services that when you work with a client, yes, we'll work with you in creating or building or updating a website, but we need to be thinking about these other things. Sure. A lot of businesses have websites, but not considered about how important the website need to be um, the way it is branded with the colors or design or content whether it's connecting to the user or not that's not considered most of the time and and also online there are a lot of uh, you know uh, stringents by Google and search engines actually they, they make sure that mm -hmm. uh, the the websites are really performing well for the user all for all devices and that was not the case if you look at um, they would say you know, seventy percent of the websites were not performing well in Google I, and that's where people realized, you know, we have to be online, we have to be right, yep. and that's what uh, you know. So they kept seeing the businesses uh, looking into um, present themselves online. Uh, as you know, website is a really elevator pitch for your business. It just gives you thirty seconds to really attract the customer. Mm -hmm. If uh, you don't do a good job on the website, then you lose them forever. Right. And that's what we do, actually, putting all the expertise and also considering what will connect the end user, what will connect the customers, and then make them engaged and also convert them into as a customer. Right. And you mentioned the word devices, right? Yeah. I mean, I think uh, traditionally and before the explosion of handheld phones and, yeah. and, and la you know, laptops and t tablets, yeah. uh, you know, the website kind of was thought of as, as a, you know, something you'd see on a computer. Now. Yeah they need to be able to show up in a consistent way yeah. that's in formats yeah. that meet the need, that, that meet the requirements of those devices, right? Yeah, I agree. And people are really checking in everywhere. Like tablets, people are often used. Mobile actually used to be like 10, 20%. Mm -hmm. Now 40%, some cases actually in 50, 60%. If you're a restaurant owner, you know that, that really needs to be 60% uh, mobile, you know, friendly. 
If not, then you are going to lose uh, those customers because you cannot click, you cannot check uh, the pricing or the, right. um, the, the menu, then you're going to lose customers like that. So you, you have to be mindful of type of business and how the customers are coming. You can also really, really look at your analytics, Google Analytics, and look at what the traffic is, where they're, they're coming from, how much time they're spending, how they're leaving. Right. By analyzing that, you can also see, have you have a serious issue here? And that's a service that you that's provide a service we to your provide. clients, right? So we provide comprehensive um, service, like we look at a website, we evaluate um, at no cost for businesses, and then we provide uh, a plan, how to address that um, plan, whether it is a website, whether it is a search engine optimization, whether it's a direct mail, we provide a comprehensive plan for them at no cost. Yep. Then they can you know, cho choose what to do. I have I had instances where customers just built a website that was not doing anything. Mm -hmm. Then they came up to came to us and what should we do? I said, you know, the problem is your website. Because it was not thought well thought out with the content, with the design, mm -hmm. then we had to re uh, redesign the whole website, connect everything with the search engine optimization, keywords, content, meta descriptions, everything. That helped them like increase 100% to 1000% engagement. Uh, I've seen in, 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 for instance, we built a website for um, Burlington Area Chamber of Commerce that had a good website, right. but they asked us to really come up with a plan and we built the website for them, launched last year. The engagement increased uh, and almost 300 to 1,000 percent. Wow. Um, and we see engaged uh, uh, owner, um, business owners coming onto the site. Right. So one of the things I thought was interesting is, you know, a lot of this is utilizing technology and we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, That's sure. rapidly changing. So yeah. uh, if a business is out there delivering a good a service, they don't necessarily, necessarily have the time to understand the latest technological innovation on various yeah. devices and things. Uh, that's your job to yeah, do, do job. for them. But one of the things that you have in here, it's a little bit of an old school marketing piece, is you integrate direct mail into this. Yes, yes. So to be effective, well, business need to be effective. So we thought, I have a print background. Uh, I studied printing, I worked for printing, even in fact, I've worked for Western Telegram a yeah. while back and okay. managing production there. but. Having the direct mail piece, you know, when you lead, generate leads through email or the website, you really want to go back to those um, customers, just to address them with the uh, direct mail piece, so right. that uh, they can see the value we add. At least you can generate the leads that way also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why we, it will be more efficient if you put direct mail instead of sending it to everybody. Right. And that's why we um, thought we should inc include the direct mail. It's been helping. Good. Good. Um, so. Speaking of websites, uh, we've got a couple minutes left. You've got a website. How do people go to that? And, and I think you've got some testimonials or stories on yeah. it. We have ta a lot of testimonials and also video testimonials on the website. Uh, we have a lot of uh, I mean, come case studies also from businesses. And if you're looking for a service or just to evaluate where you are at, just reach us out, uh, reach us um, at Cross Digital um, Marketing Agency at crossdma.com or you can call us on the phone um, at 888-8863-1150 or email us at digital at crossdma.com yeah. and you will be you know, happy that you reached out to us and there's no obligation, no, no, no fee, it's a free uh, consultation. Yeah, you mentioned that, business. yeah, so yeah. That, that you'll do that initial analysis yeah. and then lay out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What what it would be done and, and the cost? And yeah. I'm sure some of this some things you, yeah. people can negotiate in terms of what they yeah services. Our goal is to really uh, make the business shine. Small business with the limited budgets we have, and take out all the worries about digital technologies. So, you know whether it's a website or SEO or email marketing, whatever the technology issues they may have, website hosting, security, we take care of all of them for them so that they don't need to worry about anything related to websites or marketing, online marketing. Vera Mogulacherla, founder and president of Cross Digital, thanks for being on and, and uh, updating us uh, on a really important service that you recognize born out of the, the, the pandemic and yeah. cross DMA, all one word, C R O S S D M A dot com, where people can go on and learn more and, yes. and hear from successful uh, customers. Thank you. Thank Th you, Tim. Thanks for being with Thank us. Thank you so much. We're, we're going to come back for our last segment of Chamber Exchange. These days, you've got your hands full in life. 
That's why we help you bank simply and securely with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it. Why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential.